Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Bharaji. In this lecture, we are going to talk about a very important question. Right now, the result is on the horizon and many of you have checked your score, the percentile score that you got. Many said, sir, I got 94 percentile, 95 percentile, 96 percentile, 97 percentile, 98 percentile in general unreserved category and to all of them, I can only say that nothing is going to happen. You need to uh, secure 99 percentile, 98.89 or 98.9 to 99 percentile for this CSI net examination to qualify as a JRF in unreserved category and that is the maximum cutoff for any category in CSI and life science. So don't think of percentile as a percentage value. It's not a percentage. 99 percentile means you are among the 1% topper of the whole batch. That is the concept. You're not getting 99% of the total marks. Remember that. Even someone receiving a marks as low as 130 can also become first rank holder and can get 100 percentile in CSRnet. So at this moment, if you fail to qualify CSRnet examination, so be realistic. And once you understand that you failed at CSRnet life science, can you do anything about it? The answer to that is Yes, we can always do something about it because CSI net life science is not the end of the world. We have other PhD entrance examination for life sciences. And today's video is all about all the other PhD entrance examination apart from CSI net life science here in front of you. So start with the CSI net JRF that is the biggest one, the boss, everything. So if you get that as the most prestigious fellowship for doing PhD in India. But if you failed at it, now here are plenty of option in front of you with the entrance exams name, the conducting body and usual time of the year it is being conducted. So get in. First one here is a gate. Get life science is very close relative. Conducted jointly by IISC and IIT is in India. Usually it is conducted on February. Get life sciences are the particular exam where anyone from the different disciplines of life science can apply not get biotechnology because only biotech students can apply for get biotechnology next one is the dbt jrf or bet biotechnology eligibility test that is the one conducted by department of biotechnology government of india conducted in april may that is the time frame next one is icmr jrf conducted by indian council of medical research conducted in july every single year Next one is TIFR GS in biology uh, conducted by Tata Institute of Fundamental Research on December every single year. And we have JNU PhD entrance examinations in life sciences. Jawaharlal Nehru University conduct that exam on May to June month time frame. Next set of exams that we have is AIMS PhD entrance test All India Institute of Medical Sciences conducted in January, July and October. Yes, they are conducting in many different time frames along the year. Next is JGE Bills that is known as GS 2024. As per this time frame right now in 2024, we have this JGE Bills conducted by Tata Institute of Fundamental Research and other institutes conducted on December. Next one is NBHM PhD National Board of Higher Mathematics. Now what mathematics is doing here in life science because here you can do PhD for mathematical biology. The exam is conducted every year in January month. Next we have BITS Pilani PhD entrance test conducted by Birla Institute of Technology and Science Pilani conducted in May June month of the year. And the last one is ICAR I uh, AIC GRF SRF that is also for the PhD conducted by Indian Council of Agricultural Research conducted every year on the June month. So you can see most of the exams are conducted uh, once a year and CSI net on the other hand is conducted twice a year that is June and December. So even if you fail at CSI net life science that is not the end of the road you have plenty of other PhD entrants to appear in. Now the exam preparation pattern are very similar because the question pattern for all these PhD entrance examinations follow the similar CSI net life science syllabus and the depth of knowledge you require to prepare for CSI net life science is going to be true for all the other exams while you only need to understand the type of question pattern asked 
from this individual other examination by looking at their PYQs or previous years question papers. That's all that you need to do. And if you want to master all this particular examinations, particularly join Shomus Biology CSR Net Online Coaching, because from this coaching, not only you are going to get benefit for CSR Net Life Science, but also you are going to be prepared for all these PhD and trans preparations, and you'll be notified time to time regarding all these different examination here in front of you. And if you cannot afford our coaching, you can get our study material. If you cannot do that, then you can also always watch our free lectures in YouTube which is the biggest reservoir life science lectures that will help you to crack any of this PhD entrance examination in your life so don't lose hope if you fail at this PhD entrance examination because you have plenty of other PhD entrance examinations to go and all the very very best for the upcoming exams thank you everyone if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye